All right, guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James. That tail brush. And today we are going to be watching Hot Fuzz. So on our zombie movie reactions, which we do every Friday, if you want to go check those out, um, we watched Shaun of the Dead, which is one of my favorite movies. It's by my favorite director, Edgar Wright. Today we're going to be watching a little more Edgar Wright. We posted a poll for our classic movies. We're back. We're done doing Christmas movies. If you're a Grinch or a Scrooge, you're probably happy right now. The only time of year you're happy. <laughs> Um, we're back to watching our classic movies. We're going to be doing some Edgar Wright because he's my favorite director of all time, and I just love him. So we put it on the polls. This one won, so we're going to finish the Cornetto trilogy. We're going to do Hot Fuzz, and then I forget what the third one's called, and I don't want to say the thing that reveals the gimmick of it. So the third one, um, we're going to be watching the third Cornetto trilogy as well. So I'm very excited. Last movie was a zombie movie. This movie is um, a bit of a different genre. Yeah. I don't really want to say. Um but it's it's kind of cool. It's it's a lot of the same cast members, and it's like the same two guys. So that's like why it's considered a trilogy, oh, dude. But it's like different characters. They're like completely different characters. Hey, what a, I'm um, happy. Just <laughs> the actors are so good, dude. Um. So yeah, we'll see kind of what the like backdrop is. Like I feel like that's kind of the fun of it. Now that you get it, we're like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. he was like kind of making fun of zombie movies. Like, what are we doing now? Yeah, he was doing something different. Uh, yeah. So we'll see what what this movie turns yeah. out to be. As always, though, full length reactions are going to be up on our Patreon. Um, as well as full interaction and early access to next week's reaction, which is the third movie in the Cornetto trilogy. Um, and yeah, thank you for joining us here. Thank you for watching. Let us know what other classic movies you want us to watch down in the comments down below. Feel free to check out our Patreon if you want to actually vote on the classic movies we're going to be watching next. I'm really happy. We have so much Nolan, so much Tarantino, so many of like, as a film lover, like my favorites that we haven't watched yet. Um, so the options are really endless. And yeah, um, thank you for joining us here. Thank you for watching. Um, ignore the lighting because I have no time in my life because I'm going to film school now and this is the only nighttime lighting I can get because I haven't got to take a lighting class yet so I still <laughs> suck at that part <laughs> um, but yeah as always thank you for joining us here thank you for watching check out the Patreon if you feel like it and let's just get into hot fuzz wait is it still a like a like a comedy yes these are oh, all okay, comedies okay, yeah. it's not gonna be like a different genre no no no, no. okay cool these are all comedies like I I don't know if I would have been able to keep a straight face after like the last one if it's so serious. I would be like, you can't take Simon Pegg and Nick Frost seriously. Oscar, I'm sorry, you can't. They're just bored for. Them. <laughs> okay. Well, we're starting off with the uh, sirens, so. Yeah. So maybe it is another zombie movie. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, you literally just said so. <laughs> That's such a cool shot with the lighting of the sun. <laughs> is it my man? Now you said that they were making fun of like certain movies, a little bit, like certain genres. Okay, I'm I'm hoping I could kind of like get it. Yeah, I mean, police <laughs> constable in London, graduated with a double first in politics and okay. okay. Displayed great aptitude in field exercises. <laughs> nice, nice. Some of it carried It's like over. the opening of The Departed, but funny. Academically excelled in theoretical coursework and final year examinations. Hey. <laughs> you gotta love the style of Edgar Wright in a montage like this. Oh, yeah. His service. Oh, yeah, it's so good. The transitions yeah. and everything. Wow. Use your brain. Use your brain. <laughs> advanced driving. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and advanced cycling. Oh, cycling. Oh, snap. <laughs> Whoa, okay. And Chess. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so he's a completely different character than Sean. Way different. Jeez. Oh my gosh, bro. Dang. Is he the uh, <laughs> prime minister too? <laughs> he got stabbed by a guy. Is that... That's Bilbo again. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Your arrest record is... <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> We're making this, aren't you? Oh, snap. <laughs> That's in the country. Can I remain here as a PC? No. <laughs> Do I have any choice in this? No. <laughs> but you've always wanted to transfer to the country. In 20 years or so, yes. Yeah, when he retires, like... <laughs> yeah. You see it. I'd like to settle down in the country sometime, Janine. <laughs> Janine? Really? I'd like to talk to the inspector. I'm surprised. Why would they want to kind of get rid of him <laughs> oh, exactly? How's that? 
<laughs> you smashing position with a delightful cotton. <laughs> He's got a better pitch than the other guy. <laughs> I don't really know what to say. Me neither. Yes, thank you. <laughs> These guys, bro. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to take this home. Oh no. I'm gonna bother the chief inspector with this. <laughs> yes. Okay. I feel like he should be the chief inspector, bro. <laughs> You've been making us all look bad. <laughs> so there's your reason. I mean, like, gotcha. You can't just make people disappear. Yes, I can. I'm the chief. <laughs> <laughs> there's one thing you haven't taken into account, and that's what the team is gonna make of this. Uh oh. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> 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 the, Oof. The team is the one suffering. <laughs> So, I mean, obviously this is making fun of, like, like, and even the zombie thing. Like, th there were jokes where you don't even really have to know the genre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Janine, I've been transferred. I'm moving away for a while. Oh, well, not Janine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh, bro. It's not that long ago we were talking about getting married. Yes, but you are already married. You're the fourth, weren't you? We're actually supposed to call it the service now. <laughs> Official vocab guidelines state that force is too aggressive. <laughs> Actually, there's something I need to tell you. You're seeing someone else? Yeah, how did you... Is it Bob? No. <laughs> Bob looked like the kind of person I'd go <laughs> I don't know. Damn. It's hard to tell. <laughs> <laughs> Did you realize that window is broken from the inside? Just doing their job for them. He's too good. <laughs> We're just calling with details of your accommodation. Little He's such a different character. Yes. Which is so great because it's like, it's so fun seeing the, the actors range. Yeah. Even all the other actors, like the guy who played the dad, right? Like, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the best sequences in film. <laughs> you totally get it, though. We used to have a one of those, one of those Japanese peace lilies. Yeah. Oof. Oh, dang, he's looking like a villain house. He's about to start busting out the <laughs> solutions right away. <laughs> Maybe it's making fun of horror movies. You've always been here. Uh, excuse me. What? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were my husband. Oh. <laughs> I trust you had a pleasant trip. I beg your pardon. <laughs> System of government. <laughs> Uh, this lady. Oh, I see. It's She's... Uh, fascism. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> Talk about it. Oh, yes. Gosh, dude. dude. Edgar Wright is just such a good writer, bro. man. It's like he directs and writes all of his movies, and you can tell. It's, it's really good, bro. It's really enjoyable. Yes. Darn. It looks a lot better from... Uh, from the outside, uh, <laughs> not the outside, like the the lobby area. <laughs> yeah, this guy doesn't drink. Who are we kidding? Uh -oh. Yeah, they're looking a little young. Now the uh -oh. drinking age is eighteen in England. Uh oh. <laughs> the braces. Oh, no. The braces. <laughs> That's a surefire tell. Oof. Dude, he's got to do something. When's your birthday? 22nd of February. What yeah, year? what year, bro? <laughs> Get out. 1959? <laughs> yeah. Nice try. When's your birthday? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> it would appear a number of your patrons are underage. It's all for the greater good. The greater good? Well, that's as may be. But the law's the law, and they'll have to go. <laughs> okay, I, I see. Yeah. I kind of see where this is going. <laughs> the whole bar. Another cranberry juice. <laughs> uh oh. I hope you're not planning on driving that. No. <laughs> His acting is so good. <laughs> oh. A coat on his head. I see you've already arrested the old village. Not exactly. <laughs> no, just all the kids. One pension here. Not a problem. Oh snap, he was ready. <laughs> a processing montage. 
<laughs> oh yeah, the exciting stuff, bro. The paperwork. <laughs> Only Edgar Wright could make paperwork look this cool. <laughs> he was like, oh, well, "What's your weight?" <laughs> It's super cool, too. This is actually Edgar Wright's hometown. He was like, oh. it was the trippiest thing ever. Because I was doing this thing about this small little town, and it's like, this is my town. That's so cool. <laughs> well, you do kind of stick out, dude. It's a very different sort of, like, feel, though. What? I'm local like I took it so My seriously. Discounts are criminal. <laughs> <My> discounts <laughs> are criminal. <laughs> Best character. Uh. He's so serious. <laughs> hmm. He's gone. Oh my god. <laughs> Why are you dressed like a police officer? Because I am one. Oh my uh, gosh, that's good. Well, he met my boy. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. Far be it from me to stifle your flair, but this isn't the. The guy's from Harry Potter. He's a uh, Professor Slughorn. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. No thanks. <laughs> There's a reason we accommodate a few of the younglings at the pub. The greater good. The greater good, precisely. Yeah, so I mean, obviously his style is is polar to everything they do in this town, kind of. Well, yeah, because like I get it, but they already it's, have it's like, like that hometown feel. Yeah, they already have like an established sort of set thing, and if yeah. you go in and kind of ruffle the feathers, it's like you could honestly make stuff maybe way worse. worse. The thing is, you know, the laws are in place for a certain outcome, right? Yeah. And so if the outcome is okay, then maybe following those laws and messing things up might mess it up, you know? Yeah. Talking to them to not feel struggle in it, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> this is Doris Thatcher. She's a police woman. She's a police officer. Being a woman has nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> Got a mustache. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been stabbed, Sergeant Fisher? You. Well, I have. By Santa Claus. What was it like being stabbed? <laughs> it was the single most painful experience of my life. What was the second most painful? <laughs> have you an ice cream Yes, I have. You ever find a dumb ice cream No. It's like he doesn't know what being like a city cop is, and it's almost like no, he's like no, a kid, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, you don't need a real cop in this in this situation, right? It's, yeah. So it's odd. Simon Skinner, I believe you met. Oh, we're not ready for <laughs> and he's the friend. best guy. Would you read a homily? <laughs> he's gonna do the homily. I'm a little hypocritical on me, Reverend. I'm open to the concept of religion. I'm just not entirely convinced by it. <laughs> You're yeah, of course. I think I have a cream for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, all that remains is to welcome you to the neighborhood watch. A night nice <laughs> Oh, dang. It's like the round table over Kinda here. Kind of cool, not gonna lie. <laughs> I am sure that all of you will have noticed the return of a blight to our streets. Okay, what is it? The extremely irritating living statue. <laughs> the music. Any questions? Old egg. Is it true that there is a place in a man's head that if you shoot it, it will blow up? <laughs> <laughs> For the breakfast. Oof. <laughs> Angle. <laughs> Who might you be? Mr. Peter Ian Stinker. P. I. Stinker. Right. Piss Taker. Come on! Yes, Mr. Stinker. <laughs> Long, slender neck. Yeah. Got an orange and black bill. Yeah. That's a swan. Yeah. It's a swan. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. He's got the stick out. <laughs> hey, these things are no joke, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Go! <laughs> the Cornetto again. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. There is always something going on. What about this guy? <laughs> Why has he got that big coat? Maybe he's trying to hide something. Mr. Treacher. <laughs> Why has he got his hat pulled down like that? <laughs> he's fuck ugly. <laughs> he's his face. Because he's fuck ugly. <laughs> uh, it's a trolley boy at the local supermarket. Good. He lives up some street with his mum and his sister. And are they as big as his? Ooh. The mum and the sister. Same person. <laughs> What shot were you thinking of? 
<laughs> Chuck Norris. Guys, I think we should just watch this instead of the third Cornetto movie, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> He's like seeing... He has like a different lens Yes. On. Is there a problem? No, I simply wanted to say how lovely it is to see you supporting your local store. Yeah. One too many have defected to the big mega mart in Philadelphia. I simply spied you loitering your organic produce and assumed you had diamond hands. Well, maybe I'm not the one you should be keeping an eye on. That's the fridge method. I was talking about him. Oh. Uh -oh. Excuse me. <laughs> Let's go. He just appears. <laughs> the way it's shot. <laughs> exactly. Super cut. Go, go, go. The way he runs. Like he runs like a Tom Cruise movie. Ooh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> the neighborhood watch. Go, dude. What's the matter, Danny? Yo! It's the fences! Yo. <laughs> He's gonna do it again! Oh, snap! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> At that point, just give up. Okay, now I'm convinced you're not gonna get away from this guy. Oh, no! What oh. do you do? Oh, no! I love how he films it all shaky like an action movie, too. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my! <laughs> I wonder if I could get up in the air and go, ah! No, I have not ever thought I'd get up in the air and go, ah! Jeez. I just feel like I'm missing out sometimes. I want to do what you do. You do do what I do. <laughs> no, but not the same way you do it. <laughs> that was. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. We are staging a homage to William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. I'm playing the eponymous hero, Romeo, not Juliet. This is how I talk off camera. <laughs> Look, I'm merely trying to explain why I might have exceeded the speed limit. You're playing the male lead in a homage to William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. You think it's a sufficient reason to travel at 48 and 30 seconds? Dude. This is preposterous. <laughs> Writing. Stop writing. This notebook has saved my skin more times than I care to mention. And you should think about using yours more often. I do use mine. Show me. Oh no. But it's a drawing. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> he shoots the prisoner. Are you up to tonight? I have to water my piece. <laughs> That's all I'm doing. The whole night. Now, Mr. Blower left you tickets for Romeo and Juliet. Well, we can't accept gifts from somebody we've officially rebuked, so... Dude. Yeah, that's a little... I wonder if you wouldn't mind representing us at the Ambrams tonight. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> hey, come on, I might be fun. Isn't it so great how completely different their characters are than, like, Shaun of the Dead? Oh, yeah. It just shows their power as, like, actors. Yes. Ah, please, some poison doth ya, I want it. <laughs> He's crying. <laughs> what the heck? What? <laughs> Interesting <laughs> version. I mean, dude, it's definitely possible. Uh, quick word for the San Francisco. Uh, it was very enjoyable. Local Bobby gets thumbs up to Teen Suicide. That's just grossly inappropriate. <laughs> he won't try to spell his name correctly this time, will you, Timothy? Absolutely. Top. This guy needs to be like a James Bond or something. Like, he's so great. This guy's like a. I'm a little suspicious of this guy or something. I'm so thrilled you accepted my invitation. <laughs> Our uh, inspector requested we attack. Yeah, we can't accept gifts from someone we've officially rebuked, so. Uh... <laughs> I'm sure if we bashed your head in, all sorts of secrets would come tumbling out. Uh, okay. I, that was a little. That was really weird. creepy. <laughs> Is there something else <laughs> going on here? They're playing it under the guise that he's seeing stuff, but actually there might be something going on here, bro. He might figure it out. We just sat through three hours of so-called acting. Constable, their kiss was the only convincing moment here. <laughs> True. Oof. Marcus Carter's big brother said he'd finger her up the dot on. Okay, let me extend my sincere apologies for earlier. It's quite all right, Mr. Blower. 
Also, like, everybody, if you notice the whole movie, everybody has weird last names. Where it's like, he's Nicholas Angel. Yeah. There's like the guy who was making fun of for his last name, like Mr. Blower, even. Yeah. Like, that's a weird... Um, <laughs> what? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's something going uh -oh. on here. Ooh. Uh-oh. You know how I made said I was making fun of a, a specific genre? Huh. Maybe it's not the cop movie genre. Might be horror. Decaffeinated. Decaffeinated. <laughs> yeah, decapitated, bro. Now Brian Libby found him. Now his paper round. Ooh, we'll be having nightmares for a while. Yeah, in this town, this is the yeah. craziest thing that's happened in a hundred years. Most likely, lost control, <laughs> left the road there, and then ended up here. Sherlock. Y yes. <laughs> Juliet and her woman. Mr. Skinner, do you mind telling me how you know the identity yeah. of the Yeah. Um. Okay, he's unironically. Yeah. Like, suspicious in that name, too. Accident, plus there's nobody to blame. <laughs> That's, that was a kind of cool way. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> to go through the whole phone book? Yeah. We'll talk all into Aaron, A. Aaron, some shall we? <laughs> Well, Martin Blower was clearly having an affair with Eve Draper. And how did you establish that? Because we sat through three hours of so-called acting last night, and the kiss was the only convincing moment in it. Atta boy! Hey. <laughs> Skid marks. Now we can charge us. Oh my <laughs> god, bro. <laughs> There were no skid marks, it follows that for 300 yards, That's both true. driver and passenger did nothing to prevent their fate. Which means it's a setup. Old Arthur Webley's been clipping hedgerows that don't belong to him. Dude, we have a decapitation. Like, I'm that's kinda, the biggest thing that's ever happened in this town. I'm sus so, of so that Skinner guy and the, the, is he a police chief? Yeah, he's the, the, uh, or the inspector, the chief inspector. That's <laughs> what's his name from Harry Potter. <laughs> what did he say? Basically the same. Couldn't see you with more water than Okay, yeah. did you get that? What did he say? <laughs> But you can't go around chopping down other people's hedges without permission. Ah, uh, no. Yes, I suppose. <laughs> Aye. All right. <laughs> Mr. Webby, I trust you have a license for that firearm. I don't know what it is. Yours for the sir. He does for this one. <laughs> what do you mean? Like oh, no. Uh oh. <laughs> Is he a halberd or something? Dude, in there? look at this. And in England, too. Look, this is even. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> And what is this? It's a sea Yeah, yeah what? It's a wonder nobody's been hurt before. Ah, you're the Lord of Joe. Oh, dude. Uh. <laughs> 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 He's learning. I'm actually not <laughs> sure if that would actually blow up a mine. Yeah. <laughs> Stop hitting it. Okay, well, don't do it. Oh my gosh, he's... <laughs> you guys are just asking for it. <laughs> the evidence room is finally full. <laughs> well, I mean, at least we have some weapons that we could use, you know what I'm saying? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> we should do something to celebrate. Pope? The difference between these two is one of them uses regular deodorant and one uses spread. That, like, perfectly. <laughs> what made you want to be a policeman? Officer. What made you want to be a policeman, officer? <laughs> I don't remember a time when I didn't want to be a police officer. Apart from the summer of 1979 when I wanted to become a frog. <laughs> and we all had that moment. <laughs> I wanted to be like Uncle Derek. Sounds like Uncle Blue. Actually, he was arrested for selling drugs to students. <laughs> what a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> it was from that moment I was destined to be a police officer. I saw. Mean, I think you would have made a great Muppet. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time he's laughed the whole movie. That was a good one. I feel like they're getting closer. Yeah. Well, I feel like they're rubbing off on each other, right? Yeah. He's making one more serious, and he's making him a little looser. Oh! Oh! Oh, he had a... <laughs> I feel like the only reason why they are kind of like rubbing off on each other though is yeah. because he is willing to be more like him kind of he's like trying to be like him yeah yeah, yeah. and so it kind of allows for that yeah i don't know this dude we were just discussing the accident why do you have to say accident like that yeah. so like well he says everything like that to be honest true shouldn't that be drunk to their memories of course 
Oh my gosh, she's so... <laughs> oh! oh. I'm all right. The thing is, he's <laughs> so, like, straight to obvious. It. Yeah, I feel like... I, I don't oh. know. I think somebody needs to go. No, bro. I'm not that drunk, sir. No. Not you. Him. Oh, oh, no. No. Whoa. Twenty quid. <laughs> There's a change. God bless. <laughs> I would not want to be him in the morning. Uh -oh. Yeah, you won't. You won't want to be yeah. him in the morning because he won't be there in the morning. <laughs> Isn't that sick? Like, That's dude, cool. I, I want. Okay, on a total side note, that's why I want to watch Last Night in Soho, because it actually looks like a serious, like, thriller horror movie. Interesting. And it's like, dude, he's so good at the funny version. How about Love of You? Um. <laughs> <laughs> he totally misses. Oh, no. Ooh. <laughs> I've been telling my peace to for about three years now. It's like my second child. You need to say I love my lady more than I love her. The way you split up. What? Because you did it with a plan. What? <laughs> More about you being obsessed with the job. That's good though, right? Is it like... Mm, I don't know. Do you know I, I think about point, it, right? Yeah. Uh, that's funeral. Oh. oh. <laughs> I just want to be good at what I do. It's not recoverable now. Switch off that big old melon of yours. I don't think I know how. I can show you how. Oh, snap. By the power of Christ. <laughs> Point Break or Bad Boys 2. Hey. Which one do you think I prefer? He's going for the movies. Oh, yeah. He's going to start reaction videos. <laughs> Just making some breakfast. What the heck? <laughs> ah, he's, he's like setting he's up like a setting up a stage scene. again. Yeah. Whoa. The coroner should be yeah. able to tell, like, that he didn't die by the... Well, he's just a regular doctor. They actually don't have an official coroner. Oh. Right? So, because it's such a small town, they don't have, like, a... Yeah, yeah. Makes it convenient. So, what do we reckon? <laughs> Angel. <Huh>? <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> like that. I just want to ask, what's your perfect Sunday? I'll deal with the press. Spirit. But like, actually, it's kind of cool that he's like stepping up. Like, you, you see the other policemen start to step up. Yeah, I like that. Uh, okay, he's so... He's so I, sus. He's, so, <laughs> <laughs> he's too sus. It's, yes. I, I don't know if I can trust it. Oh, come on, Dr. Sherlock. There were accidents. People have accidents every day. Dude, it's it, a but, town like, in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, and like these crazy things are happening. We just catch the very edge of the explosion. That's what? Really of well. course. Well, what's that? It took my eye. Sanford's most wanted. Oh my gosh. You do your job and we'll do our thing. Yeah, but you're not doing, you're not your, doing job. your job. Oh, darn. <laughs> but guys, something. So, but like, okay, what? So, what do you think? Like, 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 why are these murders happening? I just had this random thought. Uh huh. I don't know if I should say it though. Okay, okay. We'll wait, we'll wait. Whoa! Huh. Oh yeah. I feel like he's gonna be great at this. Take out all the little people. You back to all soft food, the cuddly monkey. <laughs> the cuddly monkey, just like the orangutan uh, in Shaun of the Dead. And he called him yeah. a cuddly monkey. Was amazing. Oh, oh. dude! <laughs> Trigger finger, bro. That's the messenger. And he's told you about George Merchant. George Merchant was the guy, the kind of like suspicious guy, or whatever. Yeah, I believe so. Oh no! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! <laughs> the editing is so well done. Ooh. Dude, I love how it's like cult music. Oh, snap. He's gonna push it onto him. Whoa. Go, 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 go. He's not gonna make it. He's dead. 
Oh! How did they get off the roof, though? Who could do something like this? Maybe it was the swan. Oh my gosh. Are you saying that this is a crime scene? Yes, sir, I am. Honey, you know what to do. No! I, think this is murder. I just don't think we should move out of Yeah, I think you're right. Well, I mean, at least he's listening. Yeah, but I feel like we need the best man on the case, man. Did you find anything? I was extremely shocked when I looked at my watch and discovered that I should be in the pub. They're still wearing the sunglasses and smoking. <laughs> Not everyone's a murderer and psychopath. It's only time you realize that. Yeah, except for like the three murders that have happened here. There's always something going on, Danny, and you won't be an amazing police officer until you understand that. You don't know how to switch off. <sighs> yeah, but this is the one time he's right. <sniffs> Dang. We gotta figure this out, guys. He's gotta do it by himself. <laughs> George Merchant was the guy who died in the super rich house. Uh. <laughs> Putting it together. <laughs> this is so sick. Come on, Paola. Let's go to work. <laughs> Someone from London called for you. Tell him I'll call him back. <laughs> oh, snap. George Merchant. Okay. So they have big plans for something. Someone didn't want that. Yeah. Martin Brewer. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they were all accidents. Wait, no, dude. People have accidents every day. Except in the town. Oh, look, Sharp, there's been reports of a fire in the state. What? What? Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Danny, why didn't you say something? We were working, weren't we? Now, that is cool character development. It shows that he cares. Yeah, he does. That he didn't bring up his birthday. He doesn't even care about that because he was hanging out and spending time with them. Yeah. Do you have any Japanese peace lilies? Of course. <laughs> Whoa. I'm moving away. Why the move, if you don't mind me asking? You know that kind of it blew up. Yeah. Well, George Merchant got dressed in wanted to buy this land. And then that reporter got dressed in finds out about the route and tells me this land is very valuable. Apparently they want to build a big shopping center or something. So there's like a connection. Could you just, excuse me? Literally a break. Oh my gosh, oh, dude. No. But he's like right there. Oh. Okay, well, he saw them now. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh! Whoa. <laughs> oh, dang. Go, dude, go, 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 go. Oh, snap. That running form. <laughs> oh. He's got a knife, though. He's got to watch out. Yeah. Nah, he can take him. <laughs> Look at him, bro. I'm oh, telling dang. you. Are we sure my man's not a superhero or something? Cut himself. Yeah, there's blood. We lost him, I bet. Hang up, hang up. You're saying this wasn't murder. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie Taylor was fucking murdered! Just like Tim Messenger. Yes! George Merchant. Yes! Laura. No, actually. Really? Gauzy! <laughs> Come on, Sergeant. You gotta accept it was just another nasty what? accident. How was that a nasty accident? What makes you think it was murder? <laughs> because I was there! There's a point. Why were you? Oh my gosh, the most useless detectives ever. Maybe it was our old friend the cactus thing. Oh yeah, he was a prickly customer, wasn't <laughs> he? Maybe you did it. Oh my gosh. What am I going to do with you? Uh, with him? Dude. That hasn't been a recorded murder. Yeah, but that's also suspicious. Years. What is? That there hasn't been a... Yeah. Like, okay, I get that you're a... Uh... I mean, look. Oh no, it's <laughs> Mr. Skinner. <laughs> Rachel? The teller's dead. She tripped and fell on her own shoes. <laughs> well, because remember they were they were supposedly gonna build some big supermarket, which would give total motive. My suspicions were first aroused when you appeared at the scene of the blower Draper death. Yeah, obviously it's yeah, it's very suspicious. You were already suspicious that George Merchant was buying up a large area of land on the outskirts oh, of dang. after an article Tim Messenger wrote in the Sanford Citizen. Dude, I didn't even remember how good of a detective he was. There was a loose end. Tim Messenger splattered before he could share with me what he told Leslie Tiller, the true value of her. Oh. 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 
Yeah, but, oh, dang! Yeah, but does he have... Check if he's injured. You're clearly aren't aware that we're related. Oh, but I am. Cousin Sissy. Oh. Despite my comments about beheading customers, I personally relish the competition. Well, he was saying that he didn't before. Isn't it true that two of your own employees operate the vehicle remover service for the cops? <laughs> so, oh. These accusations are quite meaningless, Sergeant, unless you can back them up with hard evidence. Yeah. Oh. broken glass this very evening. No, he doesn't. Sergeant, this is beginning to get embarrassing. <laughs> he just leaves his legs on the table. I'm sure the store's security footage will absolve me. Who feels free to spool through? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're making it too obvious. perfect alibi. So maybe he's seeing things where they are. Like, because the way he put it together, at least for me, is it was like, dude, that was perfect. Okay, wait, like, how obviously he... they're no, but they're obviously were murders, right? Yeah. But like, could it be like a group of people doing it? That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> Jog on, <laughs> Michael. Well, it's done. really rubbing off on him. It's like every like he is kind of crazy. It's like it, it is like he's crazy. No luck catching them killers then. It's just the one killer actually. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Get us back to the station now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was Skinner a minute ago. Okay. Yeah, well, maybe it still is. Yeah. Maybe there are others. Nicholas. Yes. You're an exceptional. Officer. You and Nicholas are on the same wavelength. Do yourself a favor. Nah, bro. Sleep. Oh, this guy. Yes. I feel like the police people are suspicious, and the neighborhood watch. Okay. I mean, that's a ton of people. That's like half the town. <laughs> well, it doesn't have to be all of them. Oh, Ooh. dude! Oh, snap. he's got the fight skills. I know. It is because he's bigger. Dude, yeah. Whoa. Oh, dang. <laughs> His catchphrases are iconic. Just copy him. He only says one word. Yeah. Yeah. Just hit the R. Whoa. He's the best dude. Dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> You're saying like like a uh, good good community or something something about do something like this. <laughs> it's like everybody dude. Yeah. <laughs> Janet Barker has decided to call her boys Roger and Martin. <laughs> Nothing will stand in our way. Oh, I beg to differ, Mr. Weaver. Uh, oh, snap, he's so <laughs> epic. Sergeant Nicholas and <laughs> Oh, <laughs> dang. We do care, Nicholas. It's all about the greater good. <laughs> yeah. How can this be for the greater good? This <laughs> blow of fate was simply the result of his behavior. An appalling act. <laughs> you murdered him for that? Shakespeare. And so Eve deserved to die too. Oh, she did have a very annoying life. <laughs> and George Merchant? He had an awful house. <laughs> it didn't match the rural. Yeah. That's why they're yeah. that's why they had this sort of community. Cutting was a terrible shame. We couldn't have her sharing her green fingers with anybody else. Yeah. If we can't have her, no one can. Dude. How can this be for the greater good? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Nicholas. Yeah. Yeah, you knew it, dude. You sussed it all along. <laughs> the people, they're happy. They're living in a dream world. Sergeant Popwell thought much the same. <laughs> oh, oh, snap. Shoot. Swear to God, you'll be explaining a Danny tripped over and accidentally cut Go, 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 go. Can we somehow <laughs> get to the weapons, bro? Oh, that's true. Whoa. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. It's like the history of the town. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he, he was right about that. Yeah. 
you don't come down. <laughs> Wait, that guy still looks alive. I love how it's like a cult. Can we hope that he turns? <laughs> That's a cool shot. What are you doing? <laughs> nice. <laughs> No, it's Thatcher. <laughs> I'm talking about the others. Thatcher said it was his special. Clarby, I thought no. it was about wrapping people on the knuckles and sending them on their way. It's Frank. He's appointing himself judge, jury, and executioner. He's not judge, jury, and executioner. <laughs> I can come back and I can bring the proof. Jury, the police service. We can do it together, you and me. Yeah, dude. Come on, dude. Can Edgar Wright making driving look cool? <laughs> so every time. So. <laughs> no feats. This is something I have to do myself. <laughs> oh. oh dang. I'm assuming he's taking the movies into account when he's making this decision. Something. Another beautiful day in God's country. <laughs> it's like just a beautiful town. <laughs> oh snap. You better move. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> what are you going to do? Just nice. walk in and arrest the whole village. Not exactly. <laughs> <laughs> He's so epic. Oh yeah. Oh snap. Okay. <laughs> oh, I thought he was gonna bring <laughs> the mine on too. Out. <laughs> Nobody tells me nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> With the western music. Want to do something useful? Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, it's angel. <laughs> I love this movie. <laughs> oh yeah. Come on, dude, you gotta join him. It's time to <laughs> mess things up. <laughs> it's so sick. <laughs> Morning. Oh snap. He actually has a gun. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Come on, we need to partner up! Oh shoot, she's got a sniper! <laughs> the hoodie kids are his only allies. <laughs> Dude, nice! <laughs> she's riding the bike. At him. <laughs> oh my gosh, dual wielding, like he said. Oh! oh. Door, let's go! <laughs> oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. <laughs> I like how everybody's armed in the town. Yeah. Oh nice. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> oh dang. Dude, they got like the old World War II guns yeah. out here. <laughs> oh snap. <laughs> The guy's got a sword. I'm sorry, you're not gonna beat him. Oh, nice! No. <laughs> Dude, I wouldn't trust him. No way. He's got, he's got straps. You may not be a man of God, but surely you're a man of peace. I may not be a man of God, Reverend, but I know right and I know wrong. <laughs> His <laughs> lines so are so epic. epic. <laughs> Suck off, grasshopper. <laughs> oh, snap! <laughs> oh, dang! Oh! Come on, he's good. He's got the best. Drop him. Oh, oh, nice! You're a doctor. Deal with it, you <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> I like how he's always backing him up. <laughs> with that <laughs> panic shot. I was just about to say, bro. Oh, let's go. Oh! Oh snap, the dive! 
Oh snap. <laughs> oh nice! They're doing what they always imagined. Oh snap, he had to do the turnaround. <laughs> oh nice. Oh! Holy, I forgot! Oh, oh dang. <laughs> Pretty much did the naivety by an old man with a murderous obsession. Maybe. It's time to give it up, sir. Oh, yeah. Oh, snap. Done platforms. Oh, no. Oh. Officers, let's go. <laughs> Dude, we got a full Get police him. force now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, snap. It's just so cool. We should strip now. We've well, we got the element of surprise. Not that we wait more time, we got to mobilize. I'm going to be going through the front entrance, take the place all boy. Dang! Character development! And he's learning! <laughs> Literally had a whole plan! <laughs> oh, snap. We have, they got a whole squad. He knows what he's doing. Oh! You deal with the storm, I'll deal with the trolley boy. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a little band-aid. <laughs> Is this what you really, really want? Yeah. <laughs> See yourself. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap! Whoa, whoa! It's all right, Andy! It's your problem, Oh, dang! How many knives have they got? Oh, whoa. nice! Oh, they gonna knives? Chose the 1v1 the hardest dude, bro. <laughs> the slide! He's in the freezer. Just say cool off. No, I didn't say anything. And then I said, play time's over. I hit him with the beast loot. Fucking chain! What do you reckon? Like a boss fight, like. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah! They figured out the secret way to win! I love how the cops have the character development. Yeah! Oh, nice! <laughs> oh, snap! She's got a freaking. <laughs> oh, no. What the heck? The fresh produce boss! <laughs> Kill them. We should get down there. Ow. Skip. <laughs> Head him off. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> Just go in and guns flaming. <laughs> the people. Hmm. Interesting little town you got here. <laughs> this oh, is dang. a police chase. Dude, this is actually really well filled. This is so sick. <laughs> hey! Oh! The miniature village. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he grabs the swan. We got it! That's like that one side quest. Yes. Typically. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> <You're totally right. laughs> We're gonna have to fight in the mini village. <laughs> he grabs the What kind of a monster? What the? <laughs> oh snap! Whoa! It's a freaking. It's such an epic fight scene. <laughs> An Ultraman fight. Godzilla. <laughs> it's literally like oh, a kaiju battle. It is. Keep off the grass. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> oh. Oh. We skipped the, the one little flashback scene in between there. He just got his power. The water and stuff too to make it more epic. <laughs> Dang. You did good. What's your name? Hey. Sorry. Oh, oh no. no. The box the cutter. Box, the box cutter wasn't a gun. <laughs> oh. It's over, Danny. Karma. No, but what about? It's over. 
<laughs> Hold up. Are Ooh. we all good? No. Oh, come on. Yeah. Look what you're doing, yes. dude. Whoa. Oh, oh nice. no. He's come got on, it, come dude. on. It's like point break. It is. <laughs> Those swans are vicious, man. I feel like I should say something smart. You don't have to say anything at all. <laughs> the kids are just like laughing at him. We need you back. The figures have gone a little squiffy in your absence. Well, I mean... Yeah. Of course they would. But the thing is, I kind of like it here. <laughs> Besides, we have to do a considerable amount of bank work. <laughs> oh, yeah. Still got the piece. Official book of guidelines state that we say staff and not manpower because uh, manpower's a bit sexist. <laughs> <laughs> you don't mind a bit of manpower, do you, Doris? Oh, dirty bastard! <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, oh nice! You pressed oh. it. Oh, God, no. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Did he really get shot? I don't know. Please tell me he had a whole bunch of ketchup packs in his stomach. Just hang on. Please. Hang on. One year. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Please tell me you're just messing with us. Hope these are okay. It's gotta be Mrs. Yeah. Spider-Man. Yes! <laughs> We've had a report of some hippie types messing with the recycling bins at the supermarket. <laughs> Sergeant Butterman, Little Hand says it's time to rock and roll. <laughs> oh, oh, snap! <laughs> Can't have those recycling bins oh, messed yeah. with. Now you see where Baby Driver got it from. <laughs> Wasn't that awesome? That was awesome. <laughs> that was really good. It's so it's really cool to see like um, the sort of different like it is the Edward Wright style, but like the different sort of like uh, genre, right? Yeah, and, and so that's why I like about it is it's like he's clearly doing a little bit of a it's not even really one set genre in this movie. Like he's making fun of those like cheesy action like like the way it was edited. I was gonna say I think he did it on purpose. Like it's uh -huh. hard to follow the action, but it's because those dumb like nineties two thousand movies. Like, yeah, you can't see what was happening. That's uh -huh. like exactly how it is. Yeah, yeah. It kind of felt like one of those movies, you know. Yeah, and it, it had that you know the the one liners yeah, and things yeah, like yeah. that. Like you know, I, but it was like self aware enough. No, too, yeah. which I thought was hilarious. Nah, nah. It was cool. It was cool, and I like um. The actors playing this sort of like the different roles. Honestly, I I kind of like their uh, their duo here better. Yeah, it was it's, very different. It's cool. I, I I liked it. I liked it a lot. Yeah. And then I liked the whole the whole little mystery and then the twist and things like that. It's yeah. it's cool. I I I dig that sort of stuff. You know. Yeah, and I think it's well. I mean, you called it pretty quick. But, I mean, yeah. But they don't hold on to it too long. Like, like you called it, and they like pretty quickly revealed it afterwards. Like, yeah, I mean, I was kind of just like, I mean, you know, it's like one of those things where if you're like really, I don't know, looking for it yeah, and yeah, things yeah. like that, right? But, you know, I thought it was, it was a good enough twist. I was actually, I had this, I had two ideas. I had the idea of like it being like multiple people, like yeah. the Neighborhood Association. Yeah. But I also had this darker idea where it was actually Danny murdering the people. Uh. And uh, cool. he was doing it because he w he wanted to because Create nothing happened. Yeah. Oh, that actually would have been so dark. That would have been so Whoa. dark. I was I was like, oh, I hope it's not that because like, you know, I really like their duo, their dynamic. Yeah. And he was it, it was really cute to see him kind of like <laughs> always backing him up. You know, he was like because he really wanted to be that like. That hardcore, like, <laughs> legit cops, you know? He was always like, yeah, man, like, it, you know? It's just so well... Like, I, I hadn't watched this movie in a long time. Um, and so I feel like I appreciated, like, the filmmaking side of it and, mm -hmm. like, some of the really subtle writing. Like, the thing is, Edgar Wright is such a good writer. 
Um, and the way he does comedy is he'll do it where like there's times where he even plays it straight and he'll just drop lines. So you could watch a movie of his like three or four times mm-hmm. and it's like, oh my gosh, I never got that joke. Like just a <laughs> random joke on the side. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. he's just like rapid firing the jokes. No, yeah, so yeah. So it's yeah. so well written. It's so funny. Yeah, because his, his his dialogue is like it's pretty fast paced and it's not like um it's not like movie like, you know, where it's like they're kind of like delivering it very deliberately well, it's and, meta movie like yeah. it's and, it's and there's all these callbacks like you see it all the time in Shaun of the Dead you see it in this movie too where those are like references within a reference within a reference within a reference like the fence thing <laughs> no yeah 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 um so it's it's cool like you could see how how like Shaun of the Dead like it started it and then this movie it's like he's almost embracing a little bit like the connected universe uh-huh, yeah. a little more and like like the Cornetto thing is barely a thing in the first movie whereas like the second movie it's like he's clearly making a point to like yeah. show it like there's a few times where you see the tag and uh-huh. it's a different color this time it's a blue one instead of a red one like it, it's cool to see how like he develops like oh people are into this and it's like there's like a little like extended universe yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. no 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 that's cool and I like, um, I feel like, I feel like, uh, the whole, like, it was, one thing I, I appreciated was, like, um, oh, I forgot what his name was, the, uh, the supermarket dude. Oh, I don't remember his name either. Uh, I like how he kind of was, like, too overly obviously the bad guy. Yeah. But then he ended up actually being the bad guy, you know? It wasn't, like, that simple, but <laughs> no, 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 I, like I, I kind of like those little things, you know? Because it, it makes it less, um, like, predictable and things like that. Yeah. So uh, I like that he kind of, like, added that in. I really like the cop characters. I really appreciated them this time around. Yeah, also, I like um, how it was kind of going in the beginning. I felt like it was going for that, like, you know, like, big city cop kind of, like, goes to this more rural area and has to like kind of like learn the the ways sort of feel yeah. it was yeah, kind of yeah, going yeah. for but then like totally like switched <laughs> just like it was completely like... flipped <laughs> and like he was right it's about like he everything was actually <laughs> right <laughs> no, no he wasn't. i mean that's the whole subversion of it i think for sure but like what what the cool thing of it is like it's not like oh he was completely right and like everything goes out the window of like the first part it's like no, he kind of learned some stuff from Danny, you yes, know? Yes. He kind of, like, you know, mellowed out a little more, and he kind of, like, gets, like... Because, like, the whole thing of, like, when they were fighting these um, people, it was almost like he was going against what he was teaching. Like, mm-hmm. he was kind of, like, breaking the rules, but the rules weren't that, like, you know... They weren't, like, the hardcore rules. Like, yeah. for example, the little thing of, like, oh, you know, they had the sign of, like, only one... I forgot what it said, only one School person child kid. allowed yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah, And, yeah. like... He had all of them go, or like the he little gives like them spray the graffiti. Thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like he was going. He like, he learned to kind of like accept that there are certain like boundaries or no, whatnot. Hundred percent, right? Yeah. And so it wasn't like a complete like, oh no, just screw it. I'm back to my old ways. No, it's like he, you know, he did flip it. It yeah. flipped in the end, but he still, you know, there's still that sort of like development there, yeah. which is cool. I, I I really I really enjoyed that because it wasn't. It's not a complete one thing, you know, it wasn't completely telling you like, oh, you know, the rules are bad, you see, and yeah. when it when it interrupts our like way of life. No, it was actually no, no, like no. kind of like going, you know, in a more medium sort of like direction. Which is why like I, I think I, these like these movies are so well done because it's no, like sure yeah. it's meta and it's like funny, but like if you actually look at it like a like a as like any sort of storyteller, creative artist, it's like the character development is actually incredible. Yeah. On all of the characters. The fact that you were, like, pointing out at the cop. But it's like, no, that's actual character development, yeah. though. Uh, even the end where it's, like, he's, like, messing around and, like, making the dumb, dirty jokes now. Like, stuff like that where it's like, wow, okay, like, this is super meta and super goofy. But then at the same time, like, Still it's kind of actually, legit. like, yeah, like good character development. and Yeah. Because, like, that's the thing I think that a lot of comedies, like, lose. And I think he does so well is that a lot of comedies will start out super goofy like, even a little bit with Elf, let's say. You know, like, Elf is, like, really funny at the beginning, uh-huh. and then it it's really hard for it to be serious at the end. Yeah. Um, I mean, like, or it gets a, a good little job. too, like, serious at yeah. times. Yeah, and then you're like, wait, you didn't set me up for this because it started off super goofy. He does such a good job of blending the two at the very beginning so that when he wants to be serious, it totally works. But then even within the serious moments, like, he'll still... 
like I forget what they were saying when they're like uh when they're at the car and it's like all the red lighting and he's about to leave. There was like some joke they dropped in the middle of this like super serious conversation. Ah uh, yeah, I think I remember. And it's that. like so he like keeps this like consistent level as opposed to it being like super super goofy and then super super serious. Yeah, you know what it reminds me of is it reminds me of like Kung Fu Panda. Yes. Where it's like really funny, but like there's also like a like a legit story, like, and, like and a, a legit heart development. To it. Yeah, it's like it's not all like surface level comedy, which I feel like sometimes can happen. Yeah. But it's also not like it doesn't go from like com- like super comedic to like more serious. Yeah. You know, it, it's got that you know well rounded sort of feel to it. And you really start to feel for, like, the characters. Like, you, you get really connected to them, you yes. know? Because, it's you know, you're with them in the funny moments, at the bad times. And then when it gets serious, you really feel like, you know, you really want to support these characters. Yeah. Like, I really like their freaking duo, bro. Yes. You know? And, and I, I felt like when if he actually died, I was going to be like, bro, oh, that's <laughs> so sad. But that's so, like, one of those action movies that, like, it's not over yeah, yet. There's, yeah, like, yeah, the yeah. last guy. The like, last guy. Like, just villain. everything about it. It's like, oh. Um, no, but yeah, I, I, I mean, the fact too that you compare it to Kung Fu Panda is it's like, that's easier, much easier to do in a cartoon. Uh-huh. The fact that you can pull that off in a movie and yeah. I take it seriously, I, I think is a sign of how well done these movies are. No, yeah. Cause, uh, because that's much harder life action. It really yeah. is. And it's like that, um, I feel like it's because one of the things is it's because he, he utilizes the, the movie differently than most like, he's not going for that over realistic feel no, right yeah. and so because of that he's able to like really bring that sort of like kung fu panda-esque feel to life in live action yeah. you know and it doesn't feel like out of place yeah and something i think is really cool is that while um this this still feels like an edgar wright movie mm-hmm. it's not the same as Shaun of the dead no he doesn't do the same humor he doesn't do the same, but even then, he still does the quick cuts. The style is still the same, while at the same time, it's a, it's a, honestly it's a lot like the actors that got recast. Like they're they're funny, but in a completely different way. But it's still yeah. them, and he does that with his directing style, yeah. which is crazy. <laughs> yeah, because I don't know what to I don't know what it exactly is, but it's like I can like it's de- definitely different. There's definitely a a completely different feel to it almost. Yes, but like. I can still tell it's an Edgar Wright movie, yes. you know? Yes, I, I don't know what it is, but it is kind of like how you were saying, like, um, Danny, he's he's different. He's definitely a different character. He's totally different than Sean. But he's funny. Yeah. He's still funny, but in a different way that fits him. Yes. You know? You can yeah, still yeah, tell yeah, yeah. it's him. Like, I don't know what to say. Like, Which, I mean, credit cool. to the actors on a side note, too. Like, no, I think yeah. the acting in this movie... I sorry. I know I'm like ranting, but like really, this movie is so good. Like, like it's, it's so really well good. It's really fun. Um, but like the acting, I think, especially even with the little kid, because there's a lot more characters in this movie than like Shaun of the Dead. Mm-hmm. Um, the acting on everybody's part is really good. And like as a director, like I've done plays and stuff, and that's something that's really hard to do. And mm-hmm. so then you really appreciate where it's like, oh, you're gonna you're gonna be in this movie for three minutes, and then you're going to die. Mm-hmm. And the fact that all of the actors bring it and do these like weird quirky characters, even if it's for three minutes or five minutes, are the cops. Like I cared so much about those cops at the end. I was like, heck yeah. Like yeah. this is so cool. Like everybody brings it. The, the cops at the beginning, the three managers, like uh-huh. they're great characters. Yeah, and so yeah. it's like you see all these actors bringing it with like these bit parts and it makes this film that much better, I think. Yeah. No, no, definitely. It definitely does. Yeah. And I mean, just the range, too, right? The range of, of uh, the two main guys is... No, is, yeah. Like, Simon Pegg and, and Nick Frost. Like, they're completely different characters in this movie. Like, yeah. completely different. But it matches, <laughs> like, you know, how sometimes you can have, like, an actor not fit a character. Yes. Even if they try to do their best, you know, it's just not their fault, yeah. right? But I feel like the characters that Edgar Wright put them as fits them well, but they're very different Get still funny. Yeah. And they do, it's like and a different type of funny. No, it is. And and they do little stuff to make it like the run, like something like that. Like he, if he didn't do that, I wouldn't buy it as much, but it's like, he does that and I buy it. <laughs> well, it just adds more to it for sure. You know, yeah. like just those little things. It's just, no, it's a really well done movie. I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, that's, that's hot fuzz. Um, like I said, we're gonna be watching the third movie in the Cornetto trilogy. 
as well. So that's got up for early access on our Patreon if you guys want to go ahead and check that out right now, as well as the full-length reaction of this movie. It's super cheap on there, really reasonable, really helps keep doing what we're doing. So that would be awesome if you check that out. Either way, though, thanks for joining us here. Thank you for watching. As always, if you're new here, welcome. Uh, feel free to stick around, like, subscribe. we got lots of other awesome movies. We've got an anime channel, too, if you want to go check that out. And, um, yeah, thank you for joining us here. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all in the next video.